A flowchart is a diagram that shows the sequence of steps in a process using specific symbols. It actually appears twice in this course. Flowcharts can be used as a project planning tool, which is section 3.2, to visualize workflows, task order, and decision making paths. It is also useful as a human computer interface diagram in section 5.3 to show the steps and decisions users may take as they interact with the application. There are several standard shapes which are used when creating a flowchart, starting with a terminator, which is an oval marking the start or end of a flowchart. Process is represented using a rectangle, which shows an action or an operation. Decision points are represented using diamonds, and these are usually statements or questions with true and false branches. Input and output are parallelograms. Arrows indicate the direction of flow, and you can also use circles, which are connectors, to avoid crossing lines or continue onto another page. Flowcharts are easy to understand with simple visual symbols that are intuitive. They clearly show task order, highlighting the flow and logic of processes. They help spot errors or gaps, and is good for identifying inefficiencies or missing steps. And they're useful for communication, as teams and clients can quickly grasp the process. However, they can become complex and difficult to read if a project is large or has many decision points. They're not time-based and they don't show durations or deadlines like a Gantt chart or critical path analysis diagram. They have limited resource tracking and they don't show who is responsible for each task. And finally, they're not ideal for ongoing updates as changing the flowchart can take time if a project evolves. Flowcharts are suitable for non-technical stakeholders, as flowcharts use universal symbols and are easy to explain to clients with limited technical knowledge. They're also useful for overviews if clients want a general idea of how tasks or systems fit together, rather than seeing every task. However, they're less suitable for detailed scheduling and resource tracking, as they don't show time durations, start and end dates, or critical paths. They're also unsuitable for dynamic, frequently changing projects. Flowcharts are most commonly used in the planning and design phases to map logic before coding. They can be useful to explain algorithms to developers or clients and show how users may interact with an application, highlighting navigation, user inputs, and branching decisions. They can be used to create user workflows, for example, planning how a sign-up process will occur. To create flowcharts, start by defining the process or algorithm clearly. Identify the steps involved, including inputs, outputs, and decisions. Use standard symbols and draw from top to bottom or left to right. Add arrows to show flow direction. Review and test the logic to ensure it covers all scenarios. And use software tools or paper. Flowcharts are effective because they use a clear structure with consistent standard symbols. They avoid unnecessary complexity as each symbol does one thing. Steps show logical flow, are ordered correctly, and decisions are easy to follow. They include all relevant actions and choices for a complete solution. Each box is clearly named and decisions include true and false or yes or no paths, and they use a readable layout with no crossing lines or messy branches. Finally, to improve the effectiveness of a flowchart, keep diagrams simple and uncluttered, and split large processes into subflowcharts or use connectors across pages. Ensure consistent use of symbols and clear font sizes. Add brief annotations to explain key decisions or outcomes. Choose colors carefully for visual guidance, especially for complex paths, and test the flowchart with users to check for understanding.